What's up, Ithaca High School? I'm your host, Mr. Shine. And I'm Emerson Scriver. This week, we talk about Russian doping, Tompkins County's new recycling policy, new student climate protests in Ithaca, and the Downtown Light Festival. Earlier this week, it was announced that Russia will not be able to participate in the major world events over the next four years. Events you may recognize on the list are the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, the 2022 Beijing Olympics, and the FIFA World Cup. The loophole is that Russian athletes that have not been caught doping will be permitted at these events with one slight alteration. They are not allowed to use the Russian flag, anthem, or name. The debate on how harshly to punish Russia for the doping scandal is still underway. Many argue that punishments aren't harsh enough, while Russia itself denies the majority of the doping allegations, despite a surplus of evidence gathered by WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. These new agreements carried out by WADA are currently Russia's future for the next four years. The Tompkins County Department of Recycling and Materials Management is stepping up its quality control for what goes into the recycling plant. Starting this month, items put into recycling bin bins that are not recyclable will get warning stickers. In February, non-recyclable items will get rejected stickers, and the bin will not be picked up. Tompkins County Recycling Specialist Seth Dennis said, Tompkins County's current contamination rate is approximately 10%, but we need to achieve a contamination rate of less than 1%. The Department of Recycling and Materials Management reminds residents of the What Do I Do With feature on their website, RecycleTompkins.org. You know that RecycleTompkins.org site is a really good thing that people should check out. And it's pretty easy to use. You literally just go there with the question, I've got this thing, what do I do with it? And they've got very easy to use categories and all sorts of stuff like that. Real nice. Sounds great. Check it out. Last Friday, we saw Ithaca students once again out protesting climate change as part of a global climate strike. The protest began at Hope Plaza, where they marched to Day Hill, the location of Cornell's administration. They hoped that the university will move away from fossil fuels and make Cornell more environmentally friendly, as well as updating school buildings to be more green. The Cornell University police locked down the Day Hall building, stopping most of the demonstrations from advancing past the lobby. But 12 student protesters were able to deliver a list of their demands to the school administrators on the building's third floor. The Day Hall demonstration lasted nearly four hours before the students left. There was also a strike from students of LACS and New Roots outside Ithaca City Hall. This past week had the commons lit up like never before, as it was the first downtown Ithaca Light Festival. The main feature of the light festival was Prismatica by Raw Design, an installation of lighting up prisms. The festival also featured the 10th annual Downtown Chatter cook-off last weekend. Light Fest replaces the Ice Fest, which was retired due to Ithaca's unpredictable weather and vandalism. Scott Rougeau, Special Events Director for the Downtown Ithaca Alliance said, we absolutely loved it, but it was a really short-lived event. The new Prismatica display doesn't have the same issues as the Ice Fest did, seeing as prisms have no chance of melting. The 2019 Light Festival began on December 5th and will end on Sunday, December 15th. That's good. So we still have time to see it if we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Toby, behind the camera, is the uh, Prismatic thing pretty cool? We're getting the nod from Toby that it's pretty cool. You should check it out. Well, that's week, that's week for this week, guys. That, that's it for this week, IHS. We'll see you next week. That's a week for this week. Wowzer. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job for never having done this before. I'd say I crushed it. I would say you did...